She may have started by chance, but it looks like Melissa Ramsky's found her niche. Next on the Chris Top Program. The Top, broadcasting live to at least three people on Spreaker.com. Hello, fellow citizens. This is the latest in Christmas news from around the world. When you look for the North Pole on the map, try looking in China. Seems as though the tiny trolls have had enough. The Elf Union, also known as the Lollipop Guild, demanded two extra gumdrops per hour and at least one day off a year. Santa Scrooge Claus responded by saying, no, 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 packed his presents and now walks proudly down the streets of China, bragging that his red outfit finally makes a fashion statement. The Chinese are several hundred years younger than the average elf. An atrocity. This has been news from around the world. Portions of the day's programming are reproduced by means of electrical transcriptions or tape recordings. <laughs> you can either talk in the Chris Top program. I am the one and only Chris Top. <laughs> you can either talk in the Chris Top program. Broadcasting live from my lavish studio apartment. The busy are I'm a divvy did the once and not a black black back in my The Chris Top Program. And I'm the one and only Chris Top, broadcasting live from our lavish home studio here in sunny Clarksville, Tennessee, with an ocean view. How the hell are you doing, world? Sup. Sup. I'm a little depressed. Oh, why? I just took my last drink of my coffee. Oh. Uh, uh. We should have got like a gallon. A gallon. That would have worked. A gallon, because we have five shows. So well, we, we have four more, left now. We need more coffee. I still got a little bit more, but... Yeah, you, know. you usually drink yours before I finish. You, like, well, guzzle that stuff. It's hot. Like, this this coffee is, like, really, really hot. So I, I think you're an official coffee drinker. I am an official coffee drinker. Yeah, more so than me. I'm an every once in a while coffee guy. You've got to have it every day. Every day. Every single day. Were you always like that even before you met me? Uh-uh. I wasn't. So I did this to you. Yep, you did. I drove you to coffee. Uh-huh. <laughs> now, today you said something. I had something. coffee every once in a blue moon. Today you said something, and you've said this a million times before, but you called me annoying. <laughs> 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 and now you think about it? Well, I just I just want to get this out there for everybody. I just I, I guess I want to prove a point. So uh-huh. so I'm I'm annoying, but yet you, you overlook that somehow. Like, explain yeah, this to like, me. It's like, it's... It's like nobody's like perfect. I'm not saying that being annoying is a flaw. But what? I'm saying, Gasp. I'm, I'm just saying that it's part of who you are. Mm. If you weren't annoying, you wouldn't be yourself and you wouldn't be happy. And I, even when I'm like, dude, you need to stop. You need to let that go. You're just rambling. I mean, I don't really want you to stop. I'm just, you know. If you did stop, I would be kind of disappointed. But I... I it's so like, you love me no matter what. I endure that about you, yeah. Okay. So you think people are going to just remember me as being annoying when I'm dead and gone? <laughs> I'm always going to remember like On my tombstone, it's going to say, that Chris Top, he sure was annoying. <laughs> Is that what it's going to say? Or what? No, it's not going to say that. Are, you've, are you got, sure? you've got so many good traits. Like, you're... Let me, let's, okay, let's that's go good. Through, let's go through so the So we got uh, Melissa Ramsky coming up on the Chris Top program. We've got three songs you to You don't want to hear all the good things about yourself? I'm I'm in a modest mood today. <laughs> it's it's day of I modesty. Can, I can start. It'll, it'll take. No, we're good. We're out of time. We got to talk to Melissa. What would you do for a Klondike bar? I would strategically place Legos into the home of a blind man. Yeah, I get you. I get stiffed at you. What would you do for a Klondike bar? Okay, I want you to say Magnolia Emporium. Magnolia Emporium. Magnolia Emporium. That's what I said, Magnolia Emporium. No, not Emporium. Magnolia Emporium. 
I said that. Magnolia Emporium. 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 No, not yum. It's Magnolia Emporium. Handy Randy. Magnolia Emporium. 704-248-6808. We want your space to reflect your success. The Chris Top Program, working on being awesome worldwide. I am a true dork. See, I will admit it. Yes. See, there's. The, I am. We use that as a term of endearment. Do your I'm Batman impression. Do it. Oh, that's that's like Catwoman. Where did yeah. that come from? I don't know. What is that? That's the closest I can get. <laughs> Dorks of the world, unite. I have a picture, like a side-by-side picture of me next to a velociraptor. And uh, wow. we're making the exact same picture. That's impressive. Question, so it's like twins. <laughs> come rap on one of my songs. It'd be a good time. Oh, just give just... me a little bit. Yep. There goes gravity. Oh, there goes gravity. Oh, gosh. The Chris Top Program.com. Ah, uh, You are absolutely, positively, 100% for sure in the right place. So, Melissa's limo just arrived. Hey, Melissa, how are you? Hey, I'm great. How are you? I'm doing good. Doesn't that, doesn't that stink? It always happens like that. Like, whenever you're, it's really important, Skype's, like, totally 100% important, something happens. <laughs> I know. I, was, um, I heard it calling me, and um, I went to go click. You know, the the green button, and then all of a sudden, you know, the little blue um, <laughs> circle came on, and I was like, no, no, no. <laughs> The circle of death. It happens every time. It's like, <laughs> yeah, I've got like 45 seconds left, and I'll try to call an artist, and it's like, I can't click on nothing. I'm like, oh, i got to close out of Skype. It's not responding. It's awkward. Yeah, that, I, that was ridiculous. <laughs> so did I catch you before you got all your makeup on and, and your, uh, your really pretty dress and all that stuff? No. You know, I've been slaving over it all morning, and I pick out the the right, you know, outfit, and then you know, my my makeup took forever, especially my eyeliner. So, yeah, yeah. they got to make sure they always have to get the right outfit for radio. I don't. <laughs> that's a huge thing. I, I want to look amazing while sure. I'm, I'm talking. While you're right? on the Chris Top program, I I put pants on today, so I'm I'm a step ahead of most people. <laughs> We we well, actually got up early this morning. We went for a walk and and uh, we went and got coffee and came home and showered and everything. Yeah, coffee's oh, good. Wow. Yeah, mornings yeah. not so much, but coffee that's good. Because <laughs> I was like, if we're gonna get up in the morning, there better be coffee. Involved. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so now, Melissa, you seem like a really bubbly, active kind of person. So so give me a little bit of insight. I want to I want to get inside your mind a little bit. Like, what's a typical day for you? <laughs> inside of my mind. Um, that's a scary place to be. No, I'm, I'm, I'm joking. Um, <laughs> well, um, yeah, I, I feel like I'm always very uh, bubbly. I am very active. Um, I, I hate mornings. I am Me not too. a morning person. Mm-hmm. So I usually, the very first thing I do is down like as many cups of coffee as I possibly can. <laughs> You're uh, like... My you other th- sister. <laughs> <laughs> you would think that I'm joking, but I'm not. Um, <laughs> anyone who tries to talk to me in the mornings without coffee, uh, they usually learn their lesson the first time. <laughs> well, so, so luckily, um, we scheduled this in the afternoon. Then. Yeah, no, that that was that was perfect. Um, good, good. Anytime I have ones in the morning, I'm like, I'm gonna have to wake up like three hours ahead. Because <laughs> then I have to actually, like, see, see, up. you get it. But you yeah. get up and you have like a gallon of coffee, then you spend the other half of your morning in the bathroom. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And that's the best too. Always running. <laughs> which is which is why which is why mornings should be banned. Oh, they should. Mornings are stupid. <laughs> they need to just go away. <laughs> now, do you stay up late at night, Melissa? Is that why you don't like mornings, or do you go to bed at a decent time? You know, it it varies. Um, I feel like I'm a hermit in like during the winter because I hate the cold, mm. and so I completely like. People, everything. I'm like inside my house most of the time. It's warm. It's cozy. I'm happy. But the minute like spring hits, you know, I'm like very active. Um, even the mornings aren't that bad. Um, so I'll be out. I'll be like headed to the gym or going for a run. Uh, I just get so much energy during the spring and the summer. And it's go, 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 go. And then 
soon as it starts getting cold, I'm like, nope, I'm done. I'm mm -hmm. just going to stay in forever. But um, <laughs> I don't know. It, it just varies. Sometimes I'll stay up late, but I do feel my best in the afternoons and at night. So I guess I could say I'm more of a night person than a morning person. Yeah, I think we are too. I mean, I think most creative people tend to stay up late. Yeah, I think that's that's a consensus I've gotten from pretty much everyone because anytime I do any type of writer sessions um, or we're just like playing around, it's usually everyone's excited to do it in the evening. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, I, I definitely agree. And a lot of writers too, and, and musicians, especially in Nashville, they've got other jobs, and a lot of them are in restaurants, and they don't get out till midnight. eleven o'clock or midnight. <laughs> yeah, so. or like uh, bartenders, and they're mm -hmm. you know uh, two, three o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, definitely the nightlife is. Um, I, I enjoy it a little bit more than the morning times. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we've got three songs that we're going to play today. Now, did you did you write these songs or co-write, or, or how does this work? I did, yeah. Um, I wrote, uh, let's see, one by myself, and two I had um, co-writers on the other two. Um, mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, I, uh, I enjoy writing. I also love collaborating, though, with other writers, and I feel like it's really cool to have someone else to bounce ideas off of, or if you like write something and they're like, you know what, you should probably just delete that and go back to the drawing yep, board. Yep. I kind of, I like that because whenever it's you're alone, you kind of get stuck in what you want, mm -hmm. and then you can't see that outside perspective. I bet that's fun getting with a, a bunch of your friends at two o'clock in the morning and coming up with this stuff. I bet it's just, I bet it's a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun. I feel like if someone <clears throat> was a fly on the wall or recording it, they would probably die laughing at some of the things that we do and say mm -hmm. and sometimes it ends up being like writing for 30 minutes and then you know like three hours it turns into something completely different so right. <laughs> and that's how it works sometimes when you when you stop thinking about it you can probably come up with good ideas too absolutely yeah and um, that's usually how i try to write and I, I usually do write my best is when i'm not crazy focused on it and most of the time when I am stumped on something, it'll come to me at the most unexpected times, like I'm in the shower or I'm in the car. And I mm -hmm. absolutely have a hard time writing it down. And I'm like sitting mm -hmm. there in my brain, remember this, remember this. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I've forgotten some really good ideas. I'm yeah, I have to. It, just, it drives me nuts. And, 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 or I can't remember them exactly the way I thought of it the first time. So then it's just not ever as good. Absolutely. Yeah. It, it always sucks when you lose really good ideas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, I, I've got a, a question for you that might be kind of tough because I, I was looking at your biography earlier and I noticed that there's a lot of uh, a lot of um, acting on your on your resume as well. So if, if you had to choose your first love, what would it what would it be between singing or would it be singing or would it be acting? acting. Um, yeah, you're right. Yeah, I do have a lot of acting. Um, but my first love, I'll always say this, and I, um, I mean, I'll, I will for the rest of my life, is music. Um, mm -hmm. That's what got me into the entertainment business. Um, I remember being like two, three years old in the backseat of my parents' car singing, walking down the street with my grandpa. He, mm -hmm. would, he was very um, adamant on me singing, so he kind of started it off for me. But um, I love acting. Uh, it's great. It's fun for me, but music is everything to me. Okay, now let's let's take it one step further. You could then. combine the two, like be in a musical. Yeah, world. she could. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, you could I, just I, go I to Broadway. Do so. Yeah. Um, I usually will do the soundtracks or uh, have something to do with the music side. Also, in most of the movies and films that I've ever done, so. Okay, I need yeah. to check out some of the films. The, maybe we can talk about that in just because I want to know where, where I can find those. Absolutely. Yeah, and I'll be straight up with you. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I'll be like, Melissa, this is really good, or Melissa, we need to work on this, okay? <laughs> totally. Yeah, I'm always up for, um, so, you know, I, I want people to tell me their thoughts because um, I feel like every project, is, for me, is a way to get more experience and get better. So I always love yes. feedback. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Oh. And you, you, want, you, you owe artists, especially indie artists, I think, that uh, to be honest with them and, and to let them know what you're feeling because if, if they don't get that feedback, then how are they ever going to get to where they want to get? Right. Exactly. Yeah, you have to um, constantly 
uh, get feedback, but you can't take it negatively. And I've learned that exactly. throughout mm -hmm. my career. Is you, you have to take it in stride and say, you know what? You, that from that perspective, you're right. I need to work on this and that. And I have um, throughout the years improved on so many sections um, of any type of entertainment business because I've been able to step back and say, you're completely right. I do need to work on that. It's a tough step business up. too, man. It's like yeah. crazy. <laughs> you have to, you have to learn. There's, there's a lot of tears uh, involved mm -hmm. sometimes. Now let me elaborate on my first question a little bit uh, more. Uh, so let's break it down to singing or performing. Would, do you see yourself more of a performer or a songwriter? You know, um, that's a hard one because I kind of have a love for both of them. Um, but if I had to, if I absolutely had to pick one or the other, um, I'm definitely feel like I am more of an entertainer. I love, that's kind of where I started out as, um, I slowly got into songwriting, um, more whenever I was a teenager, but I started out singing, um, putting on shows for my family and friends in the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. Um, so I feel like I was like a born performer versus a songwriter, but that's something I kind of stumbled onto and was like, wow, I kind of have a talent for this. And <laughs> it goes along with something I absolutely love to do. So it went kind of hand in hand. Well, what, what I love about you most so far is just your bubbly personality. I mean, that's, I think people are going to gravitate towards you, uh, if for nothing else, if, if for that, because... Uh, a lot of times in the industry, you, you find people that are just um, one-sided, maybe a little cold, and they just they get out there and they do their thing. They're super talented, but then they don't have that that connection with their audience or with their fans, and and that's probably the most important part. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I completely agree with you on that, and um, thank you, by the way. I appreciate that. Well, you're very welcome. Uh, I just feel like my whole life I've been generally a very bubbly, happy person. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, I do have my moments. Um, you In the can morning. ask my parents, <laughs> for yeah. one. But um, yeah, I, I do feel like it's very important to be kind of a people person if you're going to be um, a performer, an entertainer of any sort. Um, you have to be able to let yourself out of your shell mm -hmm. and really reach out to people and talk with them, make them feel comfortable. Yeah. So um, I try my best. Um, I'm not perfect at it all the time, but uh, <laughs> I'm slowly learning. And that's something I also like sure, try sure. to, I get feedback a lot. Um, am I doing this well, right? Yeah. Am I doing that right? Yeah, so I mean, the music, music industry is just sort of an extension of the, the service industry. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, <laughs> if you think about pretty it, pretty much yeah. any any type of job where you're dealing with the public, you mm -hmm. need to have some sort of happy outlook with them, or then they get irritated, and um, you see that a lot. I feel during <laughs> this time of year, sure. the holidays, everyone's absolutely. on edge about everything. Absolutely. Uh, now, uh, before because we're going to be out of time before you know it, we got about 25 minutes left, okay. and and I want to go ahead and uh, start on your music. Um, now, I put these in order of my of my least favorite to my favorite, not to say I don't like the first one, but it's just not my favorite. No, so, you're fine. Yeah. And, and I'm not going to tell you what they are cause I want to keep you guessing. Oh, yeah, let's I, jam. Yeah, I'm already on the edge of my seat. <laughs> <laughs> now the first one that, uh, that I chose to play was it's called, I can't do that. So give me some insight on this one. Awesome. Well, um, I agree with you. That is my favorite too. And, um, I wrote, that's the one I wrote, um, just me individually. Mm -hmm. And it was about a breakup, which this seems to be a, um, an, uh, I guess a pattern <laughs> with my song. So if oh, I say wait, okay. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay. We have to explore <laughs> this a little bit. So, so this song is based on an actual event that happened with you. It is. Yeah. Uh -oh. Okay, so tell me about the guy. Do I need to do I need to find oh, him or beat him or? up, hunt him down? This was a while ago, but okay. um, I uh, it was just kind of happened thing. Like I knew him, we went to school together, um, and uh, it was right before I was leaving Kansas um, to move to Tennessee, and I kind of, we just kind of connected, mm -hmm. and um, right before I was about to move, he just kind of stopped talking to me. Uh, mm -hmm. We were full on dating, and so for about a week, I was reaching out to him, reaching out to him. Finally, he was just kind of like, "Oh well, I've moved on." So oh, um, wow. it kind of was devastating to me at that time. That's um, petty. Do I need to talk to him? I will. <laughs> no, I think he's like married with a couple of kids now, so okay, okay. Um, all worked out. But uh, yeah, I was like devastated at the time, and so immediately I grabbed my guitar and I started writing the song and. 
this probably was the quickest song for me that has come together. It, I took maybe an hour, and then I started tweaking it, of course. But mm. um, yeah, I just pretty much this song was pure emotion for me. So um, that's why I feel like this one's my favorite because it, one, it just really was from my heart. Okay. Now, now, are you um, are you currently dating anybody now? I am. Yes. Okay. Well, good. Good. So, what's his yeah. name? Oh, <laughs> um, I usually like to keep my. Um, oh, my, just oh, give me, give me his on. first name. Come on, we're tight now. Oh. Just some spoilers. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, well, we'll leave that for another time. I love putting you on the spot. How long I you know, been? I'm, I'm a stone wall too. How long I'll have be you like, been? How long have you been dating? <laughs> how long have you been dating George? Yes, I, George. Yes. Me and Bob are very happy. Okay, good, good. <laughs> I always go back to George because one of my favorite movies is It's a Wonderful Life. George! And I just George, hear that. Yeah, that's a yeah. good one. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's an sounds better than Bob. Yeah, now how long have you been dating George? I've been dating George. Gosh. Wow, this is really bad if you don't even know. Um, <laughs> seven months. Okay, that, is, that, is that like a good run for you? That, that's great since I've been single for like three years. Okay, I've got my fingers mm-hmm. crossed for you. <laughs> So if I need to talk to George sometime, let me know. Oh, oh definitely. If it, if it I will comes let to you do. know. You can call him up and, you know, just let him have it. If... <laughs> uh, I can't do that. Tell Melissa Ramsky, this. right here on the Chris Top Program. It was a mistake to ever let me go. Be kicking yourself someday, and I stood at your door with my heart in my hand, and you tore it up to feel more like a man. But don't come run back to me, 'cause I.
If you just tuned in, we're talking to Melissa Ramsky today, and that song's called I Can't Do That. And we've got two more songs that we're going to play here in just a minute. Uh, so, I okay, this is the next song that I'm going to play, and we're not going to play it just yet, but I'm, I'm feeling like it's totally different from the first one because you've got, uh, it seems a little a little bluesy, maybe some, I, I, Ooh, tell me if I'm wrong, blues. but it's called Lace and Diamonds. Yeah, and you know what? You're right. It is a little bluesy, and I've always been told I have kind of a bluesy, kind of smooth feel mm -hmm. when I do like sing, and um, sometimes I'll, I'll um, kind of levitate towards that type of um, genre, I guess you'd call. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, I, I, this song, I really kind of wanted to bring that out. Yeah, and, and it seems like um, a good fit for you. It seems like you're really comfortable doing that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've, and I've, I really, I had fun with it, and I was very comfortable. And this song I actually wrote with a um, friend of mine, and this is probably, I know I say like every single song that I write is about myself. This one is not about me. It was just <laughs> kind of something fun we put together. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I, like once we were done, I absolutely loved it. And it was really fun adding those little extras in there and figuring out how we were going to compose it. So mm -hmm. uh, I absolutely love this one too. I feel like even if the song was about Melissa, she wouldn't tell me at this point because she knows I'm going to Secrets, secrets. Yeah. No, she's not letting you <laughs> <Don't>, in again. <laughs> she's going to call the other artist today and be like, don't tell him that the songs are about you. <laughs> don't. Because he will ask you. Yeah. <laughs> So, Melissa, what would you say is your definition? And you've been in the business your whole life, pretty much. Um, so at this point of your life, what would you say your definition of success is? You know what? I feel like if you're happy in what you're doing and you truly are like happy with the products that you're putting out and you're getting good feedback, um, I feel like that's success on any level. Um, you know, so many people have different definitions of successful. Mm -hmm. And I myself, I get stuck in, that was good, but I can do better. That was good, but I can do better. But I recently was told, um, sometimes you need to step back and appreciate where you were and, and, and how far you've come. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm constantly reminding myself of that. So I feel like everyone's definition of success is different. And I feel like... Um, from the beginning to now, I've been extremely successful, and I'm very proud of myself. Yeah, and it's funny because I, I'm sure when you first start in the business, you're like, you know, I want to I want to be this multi platinum artist that plays uh, in the middle of Times Square on New Year's Eve every year, and just I want to play LP Field and just all this stuff. But then I guess over time that changes. Yeah, and you know what? Um, there is that. Oh, I'm going to be. Um, everyone's going to know me and I'm going to play here and here and here. But I feel like even though, yes, your perspective changes, you still have those those dreams that you can hold Absolutely. on to. And, Absolutely. And mm -hmm. that's what kind of drives you and pushes you to do better. But it doesn't mean that you're not successful already in what you're doing. Exactly. Um, and and it, it's yeah. cool that we can adjust and, and adapt and yeah. learn to be happy with yeah. what we have. Yeah. Exactly. And I feel like... Um, more people need to realize that, including myself. I get <laughs> I get stuck in that a lot uh -huh. um, because I'm a very like driven person, and I see that end goal, and I'm I want to race to it. So um, I do have to remind myself or be reminded uh, by family and friends that hey, you've come a long way. You've done so much. You should mm -hmm. appreciate everything that you do because um, that is a success in itself. Sure, so, and you can't lose yeah. that either. I mean, it's it's you got to have both, I guess, to keep your sanity. But if you lose that drive, then then where do you go from there? Right. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, and it's always when you're about to give up is when like that big break into that dream that you've wanted your whole life is coming. So um, just because of that little notion that I know, it's always whenever you're like on the verge of saying, you know, I'm done. It's it's always that little grace that it's actually going to happen. So I, um, I try to uh, count my blessings and say, you know what, I'm, I'm doing so good and there's just so much more I can do out there. So I'm just going to take every day one step at a time. Well, go. I know you've got a fan, uh, in Canada, JP's listen. And he says, um, he says, hello, Melissa, Melissa always, always, always looks amazing. He might have a crush on you. Ooh. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> That's so sweet. Um, 
I do get uh, commented on my style a lot, and um, mm. I love that because I do um, put in some effort, uh, not hours of effort, but I enjoy <laughs> fashion. But you really do, like, though. Yeah, you know, like any girl. So um, it's nice to hear that. So thank you. Well, hopefully George won't get jealous because he is oh, in Canada. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. We'll have to talk to George soon. No, uh, I'll talk to him if I need to. George. Uh, okay. So, <laughs> Lace and Diamonds, Melissa Ramsky on the Chris Top Program. <laughs> After hearing that song again, I'm kind of leaning more toward that one could be my favorite. And I sort of stuck it in the middle. But I love the attitude from you in that song, too. The swagger. Yeah, yeah you got some swag. I like uh, the swag. Yeah, I, I feel too. like um, I am a little, once you get to know me, I'm a little, I can be a little sassy and spunky at times. So mm -hmm. um, I like to, to bring that out in that song. And um so I agree with you. I, I really enjoy that one. Um, I don't know. I, I can't do that. It's probably still my favorite, though. Yeah, I love the Lace and Diamond side of Melissa. Thank maybe, you. Maybe we can yeah. hear more of that. In, are we going to hear more of that in the future? Can you tell me that? Oh, absolutely, yes. Um, I definitely want to show more of that spunky, sassy, you know, I guess swagger part of me. Mm -hmm. So speaking of new music. That swag, though. <laughs> so, so, so speaking of new music, uh, oh. give me a time frame ish. A time frame ish. Mm -hmm. um, okay. So, a time frame on some new music I'm working on um, will be the 
beginning ish of um, 2017. Okay. Um, right so now, January I'm doing 1st. A lot of, behind the scenes work on some new music and mm -hmm. on an EP so um, I would just keep your ears and eyes open and um, knowing me it'll be blasted all over Facebook so you won't miss it <laughs> okay now so so tell me if you can make me this promise or not because I, I'm not a patient person me neither and and I like to feel important so so maybe you could send me some stuff like maybe right before it comes out mm -hmm. possibly yes that yep. that can be well done. that was easy Good. Sweet okay. Boss. And I promise I won't play it or anything like that. I just I just want to hear it first. Hear it, yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I will send it right to you. Dude, I feel like I'm important now. Oh, yeah, I know, right? <laughs> uh, you, no, are, you are Chris Top. Uh, that's true. You're that's true. Uh, now, Ron Irvison's awesome. listening. He says Melissa is a fantastic person, let alone a great singer. No. That's very sweet. Thank you. I appreciate that. So see, you I think the the I think people love you. And I think it goes beyond your music, and I, I think that's so important. And I wish um, more artists could could see that. But I think it's not something you can fake, though. I, I feel like that's genuine. Well, thank you. I really appreciate that. I really do love everyone, and um, I really don't even think of them as fans. I think of them as friends because mm -hmm. I do try to reach out and get to know everyone as much as possible, and um, as you know and really talk to them, even if it's just a hey really quick on Messenger or something. I try very hard to um, reply to everyone and make them feel important because they are, because they're taking the time to support me, and that's amazing because um, they have other things going on in their life too. Yeah, so, absolutely. Um, I've got a new hashtag for you. You can call them friends. Yeah. Friends. 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 Yeah. friends. yeah. That's kind of fun to say. Yeah, friends. it's kind of fun. It is. So if, you, if, you're, if your friends want to stalk you, um, where can they find you online at? Well, if you, if you all want to stalk me, um, I, I have Instagram, which is, um, you can type in Melissa R. Ramsky, and I'll pull up on Instagram. Um, I post a lot of photos all the time. Um, and then I also have a Facebook, uh, actually multiple Facebooks. Um, I have like a fan site you can join, um, a band site, and then I also have a uh, personal um, type Facebook page that I let you know my friends and fans join mm -hmm. so um, you can add me on there and then also if you just want to keep up with what I'm doing I have a website it's melissaramsky.com and you can just get on there and um, it'll link you to all of my social media cool so uh, are, which what do you use the most you hmm it's between Facebook and Instagram that's the two that I enjoy using the most um, okay so, but yeah, I, I post uh, probably as many photos on Instagram as I spend time on Facebook. <laughs> our our inst Instagram is probably like a barren desert. Yeah, uh, like, I can't even get into the Instagram because I don't remember the password. Yeah. And I think the email I gave to it was like an email that Chris doesn't even use. So. Yeah, so I don't know. Maybe <laughs> oh, one no. day. Yeah, it's okay. I actually change my passwords frequently because I forget them. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, so we've got one more song coming up we're going to play. It's called Keep Dreaming. Um, we are listening to Melissa Ramsky right here on the show. And uh, if uh, you want to join the chat, we would love that. You can swim in the brainwaves uh, with Chris Top and Ali Top and Melissa today. And um, oh, yeah. if you can't do that, then what you're, you're probably listening to an archive show on iHeartRadio or on Spreaker or someplace like that. So you'll have to join us sometime live and take part in the fun. It's yeah. nice, it is, you know, to yeah. be part of the show. I think sometimes, uh huh, because it's like you know, you, you're listening to somebody, and then it's like, oh, whoa. it's well, like think, you fangirl think, a little bit. I think you might turn people off sometimes, Ali, because you're a little intimidating. Excuse me, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm not intimidating. I know, I know, I know. <sighs> okay, so Melissa, if, if you could have any superhero power, Melissa, what would it be? <laughs> So mine's gonna sound it's gonna sound like really cliche and boring, so I know. But if I could have any superpower, it'd be flying, and I have a reason behind it. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I'm so here. Can I say I something really quick? I, I, I just want to say this happen. really quick. Okay. I love you, uh, but <laughs> I don't love your choice of superpower. <laughs> <laughs> I hear it all the freaking time. What's yep. your What's your superpower? Flying. Boo! <laughs> you know, I was going to be like, she, really creative and be like, I'm going to wake up perfect. Like, yeah. I have my hair and makeup done already. But then I was like, well, you know what? I don't have to do that if I can fly because then I'm always late. Oh, okay. Oh. 
like all the time. So I figured if I could cut out driving and just be able to fly, yeah. then I could actually, you know, like stay on Melissa time versus everyone That's else. That's true. Time. But now what if it's like really super cold outside? You got to like really bundle up. Ah, you know what? Get frostbite. I didn't think about that one. That's true. See, See, that's why flying is a bad idea. (laughs) That's why nobody should, everybody should stop. And then you got your makeup on. Then by the time you get there, you've got bugs in your hair. You look like a peacock with a bad hair day. Flies in my teeth. Yeah. (laughs) You know what? I should have, I should have rethought that one. Yeah, you should have. Because it's a bad (laughs) idea. Stop busting her balls, Tom. No, I'm just I'm being for real right now. I'm I'm always hearing people saying, "Oh, I think I'd pick flying." It's almost like I a know. cliche on the show now. <laughs> I cringed a little. I, I figured when I was like, "I'm going to say this," and they're just going to be like, "You're boring." <laughs> Uh, okay. Now so, Chris was going to be like, "Oh, that's great," but I was like, "Boo!" <laughs> yeah, I can't ever shut her up. I mean, she she gets on these rants, and it's just it's over. Uh, okay, so we've got one more song to play. Keep dreaming, and then when we come back. We're going to ask Melissa the coffee question. The coffee question. The coffee question. Dun dun dun. And that's a fun one. <laughs> dun 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 dun. Yeah. So you won't you won't give her a hard time about that one. No. Okay. No, good. I won't. Good. 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 Lace and diamonds, Melissa Ramsky. <laughs> Okay, so I, I screwed up. We already heard this one. I know, I screwed up. Boo, you suck. It's supposed to be Keep Dreaming, so I need to, I'm need i going to play this one instead. I, they, they probably wouldn't mind hearing Lace and Diamonds again. I, 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 I do that from time to time. I do.
You know, I said I put these songs in order, but I'm not even sure anymore. Right. I mean, I, I, I kind of dig them all. Get it together, Tom. And I don't know. I'm usually pretty good at that, and I'm usually pretty solid when I do that kind of stuff, but not this time I'm not. Mm. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. So, so Melissa, if you had an opportunity to sit down with somebody just for five minutes and have a cup of coffee with this person, and this could be somebody uh, that you've known throughout your life, or this could be somebody living or dead, wh- wh- who would it be? This is the million-dollar question. Uh, I know, right? Um, at first, um, like when I, when I think about that, uh, I immediately start thinking about like all of my idols. Um, but then... Truthfully, the one person I would probably want to spend five minutes with coffee with is um, probably my grandfather. He passed Mm. away, I don't know, five years ago, and he was such a huge person in my life. Um, So it would just be great to be able to sit down and talk with him again. Sure. Do you think uh, five minutes, that wouldn't be a very long time, though, with your your granddad? It (laughs) wouldn't now. (laughs) Yeah, it'd almost be a tease, but it sure would be nice, though, to see some some loved ones again that we've, we've lost for sure. Absolutely. Yeah. She's such a sweetheart. She is. <laughs> I just want to hug. When, when I meet you in person, I want to hug you. Aww. Okay. Well, you definitely can. I give away free hugs. Okay. Don't tell George. <laughs> don't. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Except for when George is around. Yeah. He doesn't need to know. <laughs> About those hugs. <laughs> right. 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 Suspicious. As soon as he turns his back, we'll get a quickie, like a quick hug. That sounded bad. <laughs> that sounded so bad. That sounded bad. really bad. We'll get it. Yeah. yeah that, I, I, that. What? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Top, I gotta go. You're a creep. Bye. <laughs> so, Nashville Entertainment Weekly. I want to say uh, say hi to them real quick because if it hadn't been for them, I, we would have never met. I know it's great. Um, they're amazing. I love them to death. I have nothing but amazing things to say about them, and I tell them that all the time. So uh, they already know how I feel about them. <laughs> well, don't make them conceited. I know their heads are growing by the time. Right. Sometimes you got to put them down a little bit, so so that you way. Guys, you know what? You weren't as good as you were the other day, but right. you're still great. Right. 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 Just it goes up but, and down. Sometimes you, know. you guys are great. Sometimes not so much. Yeah. That's kind of rude. <laughs> it is kind of rude. Isn't it? Rude. I know. I know. I know. Uh, but thank you, Melissa, for being on the show today. It was so. It was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. Thank you guys for having me. Um, like I was saying, you guys are so much fun. So uh, um, anytime, I would love to be on here again, talk, just talking to you guys. You don't Sweet. even have to ask me questions. <laughs> I'll Skype you tonight at 3 a.m. and we'll do it to it. Bruh. What? Yeah. No. Or I'll, uh, first thing in the morning, we'll do that instead. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. I'll get back to you on that. And we'll do a live video this time. Oh, yeah. First thing in the morning. <laughs> I would love you. <laughs> Melissa, right out of bed. That w- yeah. That wouldn't go too well, I bet. Yeah. Oh, probably. <laughs> Because, I mean, I would have to be there, too, and that would mean two grumpy people on one show. Oh, yeah, I couldn't take it. (laughs) Between you two and the cats, I'd go insane. (laughs) Because we'd be all like, "Ah." I know, I know. I know. know. You'd ask me a question, I'd be like, huh? What? What? Leave me alone, Tom. What? I don't know. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Well, thank you guys so much for listening today. Uh, We're going to be back on in about nine minutes with Dazi straight out of Australia. Oh, yeah. They're in Nashville now, though. So it should be an interesting show. Mm Mm-hmm. Four, four Australian or three Australian sisters, and they can all sing too. Yes, they can. Yeah, I've they're, heard they're, them they're, sing before. They're, they're, they're good. good entertainers. Mm-hmm. They are. Uh, okay, so they're coming up next on the show uh, just in a few minutes. And I, I do want to say this: we do not, nor will we ever take any of you for granted, because there's a million other things you could be doing. But guess what? You chose to listen to us. It makes us feel pretty darn good. So until we broadcast again, please remember this: life is good. We're gone. <laughs> Things might be looking grim I guess it's time for an acronym Two, three, four W-O-B-E